Hey, welcome to the show. It's Twin Tiers Football tonight. Jenna Cottrell, I'm Andy Belnaski, and Jenna, it is playoff time. That's right, Andy. Notre Dame hoping mm -hmm. to stay alive. That's right, staying alive. Little BGs down there. <laughs> Southport, I hope, tonight. Crusaders facing perennial power Walton over in Southport, and they were looking for that W. Class D quarterfinals, Warriors at ND. Two seconds left of the first quarter. Walton driving, looking for the score. Blake Hit. that's right, his last name is Hit. trying to find a receiver downfield. But this one fails. 16-12 Crusaders led at the half. Then it was the Tom Agin show to the show. Bounces <laughs> this one outside, and he's rumbling 21 yards on the scamper. That would prime him up for this. When in doubt, just find Agin again. No <laughs> one is going to catch this man 45 yards later he's for the machine. touchdown. He is a machine. Absolute <laughs> big time in it here. 22-12 after that. Notre Dame moves on 36-28. They're now off to the semifinals. Well, Notre Dame plays the winner of this game, Unitigo and Moravia bundling up for some fan cam tonight. It is cold. Ooh. First offensive play, Josh Fairben can't handle it. The snap, Moravia's Brian Huff, though, jumps on it in the end zone. 6-0 Moravia. Spartans take the game back. Fairben hits Ryan Marzell in stride, and he's off to the races, and he is gone. 14-6 Spartans. Unitigo takes it 35-6. They'll face Notre Dame next week. You know, I was always interested in I-88 called Otego, the town, like, it's almost like a nacho cheese sauce or something. You know? <laughs> it's spicy. It is. It's good. It's a spice. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Cindy and Tioga, a rematch of last week's game. How did she get that hat? I don't know how she did, but she got it. First quarter, Tioga's Ryan Ferguson on the play action pass finds Josh Kithgart. He is gone. Kithgart, 40 yard strike. It's 7 0 Tigers to the second. Ferguson likes that hang time. <laughs> this time finds Justin Fisk. Any relation to Carlton? We're not sure, but maybe. Oh, That's a touchdown. 14 0 <laughs> Tioga. Then minutes left in the half now on fourth and three. Jesse Manuel. Instructions not included here. 25 yards for the score. All Tioga, 31 to nothing. Well, unbeaten Wellsboro at Tawanda. Hornets cheerleaders know they're in for a good one. First quarter, Wellsboro ball. QB Mike Petchpola with the handoff to Wyatt Covert. Going, going, gone. Hornets get on the board. 6-0. Then later, the Black Knights on the 5, but they can't get it done. Hornets coming up huge on the defense. 7-0 Wellsboro still. Then Petchpola with the pass, and Kieran Smithers with the impressive catch. He bobbles it a little bit, but it's all Hornets. Smithers or Smithers? Smithers, Smithers. Mr. It's Smithers. all good. Wellsboro up 14-0. The Black Knights would try and claw their way back, but the Hornets too much to handle. Wellsboro wins 21-14. How about over in Athens, Central Mountain coming to town? Let's walk on that field where, you know, where can I get a jacket like that? No, I don't know. You needed it tonight. I know. Frigid. Athens <laughs> getting it done here in the third. Tyler Forbes rise up that Forbes list 40 yards on that touchdown. It's now 23-17 CM, but those Mountain men, oh yeah, baby, they were coming back. Quarterback. Travis Tershetta with the long ball there. Tyler Pavalco. Oh, oh, yeah. That is big time. <laughs> he makes the catch and finds the end zone. Central Mountain, they would take it 50 to 31. All right. Well, to the scoreboard now. Muncie. Yeah. Muncie. <laughs> Gotta say it like that. Muncie. All over Sarah. 40 to nothing. And Troy takes care of Hughesville. Well, Odessa falls on the road at Kander, and the Senecas of Watkins Glen drop their final game of the year to BG. And let's go to Vessel. Golden Bears hosting Ithaca. Early on, no score. Zach Cooks fumbles the handoff, and Little Red recovers, but then fumbles their own return. Vessel gets a first down. And later on in the drive, Vessel's Pat Carlin making this one look easy. He's going to run it in for the 6-0 Golden Bears. And if, it wasn't, if that wasn't enough, Nick Wegmans spots Justin Dennis, and he is gone. Vessel rolls 49-0. Say it with me, Andy. Yes. Slaughter. Slaughter. That was a good slaughter that right was. there. That was. I think that was one of the best. It was the best of the year. <laughs> Redding at the Elvira Jackals. Home opener at First Arena for the Jack Attack. First period were scoreless. Denny Hobbs tried to find some net here, but Zach McCullough, he finds it instead. This is home. <laughs> W&Y, right? Later, Jack Attack <laughs> trying to put the puck in this time. Rob Bellamy tips it to Jean Barbeau, but nothing going there. Jackals 0 for 3 in the power play in the first, and some words there were exchanged at the Ooh. end. Elmira Falls 3-1. They're now 0-2 on uh, the year. Well, that's going to do it, Jedi. No, great Twin Tiers football. Absolutely. Today. You know, It's a little cold, but we can handle yeah, it. Yeah, you know, we're fighting off the body. You know, you got to adapt that heat yeah. or that cold a little bit and, uh, you know, adapt to this, too. What do you think? 
terrifying. Just, Jason? That's horrifying. Well, before we go to break, I gotta put this on. So we're not, right? Uh, all right. That's what I work with. Yes. <laughs> Happy Halloween. It, that's next week. Twin Tunes football is returning next week. And uh, we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Joe's got a last look at the weather. And Jenna, put it right there. There we go. Number one. <laughs>